Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue my series on the meetings solution. That is a solution intended to handle meetings in a large organization. I've recommended that you create a task list for each meeting so that you have all the to-do items, the, all the action points for each meeting in a specific list. Of course, that makes it difficult for, for people to handle, you know, what are all my tasks, that list. So I'm going to use a web part to show you how to do that. I have this sales meeting action points for July 26th. As you see, there are two tasks assigned to me and one to Antonio. One of the tasks is already completed. And same thing for the IT. I have an IT task here that's um, not completed and one that is completed and another one that's assigned to Antonio. So now I'm going to go to the HQ site. I'm going to open that in a new tab. People often go to the HQ page. That's where they want to see their open tasks, all of them. All right, so I'm going to Put in a web part there. I just put in a blank line there. Adding a web part, content rollup, content search. So I'm going to use the content search and then I'm going to go in and edit the properties on that. So I'm going to edit the web part, change the query, of course. And I don't want to have uh, recently changed items, I want to have items matching a content type, and the content type I want are the tasks, right? And it's not just the current site, it's the all my tenancy, all of the tasks. So as you see, there are six of them, three there and three there. I showed you that. But now I want to go into advanced mode. So I want to see only the ones that are assigned to me. So I'm going to show all managed properties there. And one of them is the assigned to. That's going to be equals and the name of the user who runs the query. So let's add that property and test that. Now I have four, that's fine. And then I want to have the completed, or the, rather the status. There is status. And that should not equal a manual value completed. Right, so I'm adding that property filter. And now I should see two of them there. I don't, let's try the other one of the statuses there. Let's try that. Remove that, all right, and then we test the query again, and there are my two not completed tasks. All right, so now I'm all done. I'm just gonna click OK there, and then I'm gonna change the number of items to show. It's gonna be 50, and um, it's gonna be a list with paging, of course. And we don't want pictures there, we want just the two lines. Display template there, I'm gonna apply that, and there are my tasks, the IT tasks and the sales tasks. Those are the two ones that are not just completed, so my tasks. So let's change the appearance here also to make it show my open tasks like that. And we're gonna show the Chrome time, set that to title and border and apply. And then I'm gonna save that, my open tasks. Now the beautiful thing is of course that if Antonio checks out this page, now I'm logged in as Antonio in Chrome here, I'm gonna refresh the page and we'll see my open task. There's one sales task for him. The other one has probably not been indexed yet, so that should show up correctly. Actually, wrong with me. This is not an example of the search engine has a delay. It does have a delay, so that's something you need to consider when doing search-based solutions. But this is another feature, actually. It's the permissions. Antonio does not have a permission on the IT site, so we can check that by going into the IT site and going into site permissions under site settings of course and we can check permission and check Antonio what he can see in this site check now and he has limited access that's the only thing he has so he won't be able to see the tasks so that's why when I log in as Antonio here that's why I only see the sales tasks so the search is working exactly as it should so that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.